मैम कैन यू प्लीज अनम्यूट बट आई कैन सी यू सो आई विल अगेन म्यूट माय सेल्फ माय लास्ट नाउ आई एम वर्ड व्हाई आर यू अटेंडिंग क्लासेस क्या हो गया मैम माय यूनिट टेस्ट इज गोइंग ऑन एंड माय स्कॉलरशिप क्लासेस आल्सो गोइंग ऑन दैट्स यू स्टडीइंग स्टडीइंग एंड स्टडीइंग या मैम टू मोर इज जरूरी पीपल ओह ऑल द बेस्ट व्हाट आर योर चैप्टर्स फर्स्ट चैप्टर ओनली प्रिपेयर so classification of sedimentary rocks on the basis of various factors on the basis of processes you have evaporation compaction cementation 
here we spoke about compaction cementation earlier last time i told you about the compact powder ha huh? compact means dab jana compact ha that will ho jana compact powder and compact powder ah uh, do smooth the skin mm. it was a loose powder nahi hai right it's like hard so that's why it's called compact because it is fused together but it is not cemented what does cement do it cement sticks it together then on the basis of formation you have mechanically chemically and organically mechanically chemically and organically you can actually make a chart do this make a flow chart ke baad hum So we have to, on the basis of processes, we are going to evaluate. compaction and sedimentation uh, cement next on the basis of formation the liquid form माइट नॉट बी एबल टू Okay, open your resource book, page sixty-four. After you've written this, resource book, page sixty-four, the top evaporation, compaction, cementation. We read this page and the all this this part also. <laughs> We are doing. This like this. Ma'am, after marine, have you written glacial also? No. No, but if it's in your book, you have mentioned. No. 
Riverine lacustrine uh, glacial is also there, so right glacial after much. So we uh, this. When else we will read this? Evaporation, compaction, cementation, page 64. Yes, ma'am. May I start? Ah. Ah. Ma'am, from the CPT or the volume? No, the volume. Okay. Evaporation. In this case, water from loose materials is evaporated as in the case of rock salt. The accumulation of rock salt mainly takes place through evaporation from before being compacted and cemented. Compaction. In this process, sediments after filling up are gradually squeezed by the weight of overlying layers and hardness of underlying layers. Sand is compacted in this way to sandstone. Cementation. It is the bonding together of compacted sediments by natural materials such as calcium, compound, silica, silica and iron, all of which have the properties of bonding on the loose, loose materials. Part. Okay. So first, evaporation. What is evaporation? In this case, water from loose materials is evaporated. As in the case of rock salt. What is rock salt? Salt. Salt. The, it's in the form of rock. stones. Rocks. Crystal. Yes. As in the case of rock salt, the accumulation of rock salt mainly takes place through evaporation before being compacted and cemented. Means what? First, we have water that's evaporating. That's how even normal salt is formed. No? The water is evaporated and the residue, what is left behind is salt water. So that's what we are talking about when we speak about, about evaporation. We spoke about rock salt here. Then you have the process of compaction. In this process, sediments after piling up. Piling up means collecting. Collecting. Because uh, sedimentary rocks are like that only, you know, layer on layer on layer. Huh? Ah. Yes. So after piling up, are gradually squeezed by the weight of the overlying layers and the hardness of the underlying layers. So kya hota hai? Usko pressure hota hai because down you have layers and from the top you have a lot of pressure from the layers on the top. Okay, it might be till here. So, you will have pressure from the layers on the top. That is compaction. Sand is compacted in this way to form sandstone. So, here what is the example? Sandstone. Okay. Then, cementation. It is the bonding together. Remember, in cement, what happens? What does cement do? It joins the pieces of bricks together. So, cementing. So, it is the bonding together of compacted sediments. Matlab, ye compacted ho gaya. Okay? So, here this is what? Bonding. Like, it acts as glue, like ferricol. By natural materials such as calcium compounds, silica and iron. All of which have the properties of bonding on the loose material. So, which are those materials? Silica and iron. So, whatever calcium compounds like silica and iron, they are bonded together. Okay. Cemented. Hmm? So, this is cementing. So, what is evaporation, compaction, cementation? Evaporation kya hai? Rock salt, how is it formed? Evaporation of Evaporation of plastic sediments. Evaporation of water. Evaporation of sea water. Compaction, what is the meaning of compaction? The layers of the sediment. 
हिंदी में भी बोल रहा है समझा है ठीक है बट वेन यू आर स्टडिंग यू हैव टू राइट योर आंसर टू मी सो सीमेंटेशन वॉट डज इट टू sticks together sticks together they act as agents where they cement all the rocks together and they are they become stronger then next on the basis of formation mechanically chemically and organically the three you read these can these contain fragments from breaking up of other rocks these are mechanically form these contain fragments from breaking up of the rocks of other rocks these sediments are also called plastic sediments what is it plastic, plastic sediments plastic. the sea plastic yeah the breaking up of older rocks takes place through denudation by means denudation means weathering and erosion so what are the agents of denudation moving glaciers wind flow water they are all agents of denudation agents of weathering and erosion correct mean say erosion or weathering hota hai mechanically formed rocks include shale sandstone clay conglomerate and loess so which examples shale sandstone स्क्वीज by the weight of the sediments and the lower layers harden to form rocks okay so because of the pressure they form in rocks since such rocks are formed in layers they are known as stratified stratified means this means data means layers ha so data is layers stratified means containing layers for example sand becomes sand next chemically formed chemically formed rocks these are formed by the direct precipitation of mineral rock matter from solution the accumulation takes place in the lakes and lagoons they are compacted through evaporation through through they are compacted through evaporation for example gypsum gypsum and rock salt and potassium rock salt potash Rock salt is found in Red Sea, Aral Sea, as well as in Sambar Lake in Rajasthan. So, how are they formed? By the direct precipitation of mineral matter <coughs> from solution. Solution means a liquid uh, kind of a solution is formed. I can we can see some video on this. Yes, so, like the mineral matter from water just deposits into lake oh, or lagoon, and then it gets drawn to you. chemical sedimentary rocks youtube oh, let's see this one will more affected writing can you manage it where are you i will have to share sound over for i'm there already sharing but on this side of your 
Grammarly can make your job one click simpler. Grammarly makes Chemical sedimentary rocks are one of the three major types of sedimentary rocks. This mini video explains how they're formed. Imagine you took a tablespoon of salt and dissolved it in this small beaker of water. Then you added the water to a pan on the stove and cranked up the heat. As time passed, in this case about four minutes speeded up, the water would gradually evaporate and the salt concentration in the remaining liquid a beaker of water. This uh, what is it? This one? Uh, floating. I think Small beaker of water. Then you added the water to a pan on the stove and cranked up the heat. As time passed, in this case about four minutes speeded up, the water would gradually evaporate and the salt concentration in the remaining liquid would get progressively higher until the salt began to precipitate out of solution. You can see the salt crystals forming here and along the edges of the pan. Eventually, when all the water is gone, the pan will be coated with the same salt that was originally dissolved in the water. Essentially the same thing happens in nature, just not as quickly. This occurs when water in isolated seas or lakes evaporates, leaving behind dissolved minerals. For example, ancient Lake Bonneville covered much of Utah 10,000 years ago. Most of the lake dried up, leaving the flat lake bed covered in a layer of salt. Because these chemical sedimentary rocks form by evaporation, they're known as evaporites. As seawater evaporates, the concentration of salts changes and the different rocks are formed. Gypsum will precipitate first, followed by rock salt as salt concentrations increase in the shrinking water body. Minerals are also dissolved in lesser concentrations in groundwater and freshwater lakes and rivers, and are also concentrated in hot waters associated with thermal features such as hot springs and geysers. Precipitation in these cases occurs when there are small changes in water chemistry. For example, water evaporates in caves to leave behind limestone deposits. Each water drop loses carbon dioxide and deposits a film of the mineral calcite, which eventually builds up to form features such as these stalactites. Gases are also lost as warm groundwater comes to the surface and minerals precipitate to form travertine, a type of chemical limestone which forms these terraces in a surface. Association with hot springs in Yellowstone National Park. Elsewhere, silica-rich groundwater may replace limestone to form irregular chert nodules or produce chert when it precipitates in buried trees to form petrified wood. So to summarize, chemical sedimentary rocks are typically formed as a result of evaporation or precipitation from mineral-rich waters. Finally, how confident are you that you can successfully meet the learning objective for this lesson? See, here it's written, they are compacted through evaporation, mainly. So that's why when they, see the next one also down here. Yes. Uh, chemical sedimentary rocks. Yeah, your size is not size, madam. Madam, you try to 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 What do these rocks have in common? Halite, gypsum, and hydrite, and limestone. They are all chemical sedimentary rocks. These rocks typically form from either evaporation or precipitation of mineral rich waters. Okay, see, this Let's take a look. Similar to evaporation, there's one point here also which says that they are compacted through evaporation. That's why earlier we in this uh, previous video spoke about rock salt. Hmm? Mm -hmm. It's bad then. or precipitation of mineral-rich waters. Let's take a look at two demonstrations that will help you understand how chemical sedimentary rocks form. Up first is evaporation. And here's what I did. I first dissolved a cup or so of Epsom salt into water. So you can see me pouring the water into this. Next, I poured this, I stirred it up and poured it into a pan and put it on high. This way you can begin to see the water evaporates and I have it on uh, fast time lapse. And as you can see, as it evaporates, you can see 
that the water, the minerals dissolved in the water becomes a solid. And here's what it looked like at the end. Okay, so kind of cool looking rocks. So that's evaporation. Next, I had precipitation, and it's the process of transforming a dissolved substance into an insoluble solid from a supersaturated solution. And for this supersaturated solution, you can see I used borax, borax, and then I went ahead and poured it and dissolved it. Okay, then I took this supersaturated uh, liquid with borax in it, and I poured it into a nice cup. And then what I did was I used some pipe cleaners and made a little sculpture and placed it in there. And now you can see the time lapse. And here's what happened. As the minerals precipitate, you can see they begin to form a crystal. So, and now when I pull it out, that's what the crystal looks like. Okay. So you can see how a rock would form a chemical sedimentary rock would form from precipitation okay so in summary chemical sedimentary rocks are formed by the evaporation of mineral rich water or precipitation of mineral rich water thanks for watching and remember kindness multiply which example we will see one more where we are seeing the formation of some rock such beautiful things, you know, those people, uh, going to these secluded places and uh, getting a hold of such big crystals and that is so beautiful. Uh, uh, fine crystals I met. And such beautiful ones. It was all anyway, it was all in these rocks. Wow. So much beautiful. And I'll show you if I see that uh, page you know, if there is time to be I will see that now this is See this. This is real, they look like grapes, but they are real rocks. See this one, huh? this is the one I was telling you. See this. See this big one. Is there again or is it in these rocks? In these types. Rocks for. Don't put it here, what you put in. We proceed. Yes, ma'am. They have been. Rocks. 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 We will need it. What is the example? You want to see formation of some rock or we can follow on Insta? Huh? Follow on Insta, it's really good. Hey, you can follow me on Insta. Achha, I will follow you. We'll exchange those things later. Okay. Next, what are we doing? Okay, then it's organically formed. Uh, so chemically it is compacted through evaporation and the precipitation. Then organically formed rocks. So we'll be 
These rocks contain remains of dead plants and animals. Limestone is formed by skeleton shells and animal remains. Contains. It contains large proportions of lime. The rocks like peat, lignite, bituminous. These are all uh, this peat, lignite, bituminous, anthracite. They are like so coal. The peat is not actually coal. That's just organic matter. It's the first stage of coal. And anthracite is the best type of coal. And the they are termed as carbon aqueous rocks. Other types of organically formed rocks are siliceous rocks formed due to, formed due to dominance of silica contents. Chalk is a form of carbonate rock. It is formed due to precipitation of rock, precipitation of carbonate materials. In the ancient past, there were vast tracts of forest regions that were buried and underwent changes to yield fossil fuels. The vegetable matter. What are fossil fuels? Petroleum. Yes. Petroleum. 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 Yes. 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 Petroleum
Grammarly makes communication at work one click simpler. Whether you're looking for Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science and Organic Sedimentary Rocks. Organic sedimentary rocks are sedimentary rocks formed from once living matter. The sediment in an organic sedimentary rock is made of fossils. Organic sedimentary rocks form from the accumulation and lithification of organic debris such as leaves, roots, shells, and other plant and animal material. The hard parts of animals such as bones and shells can become cemented together and over time make a rock. Or plant remains may be covered underground for millions of years to make an organic sedimentary rock. Coal is an example of an organic sedimentary rock. The way in which coal is created is typical of how organic sedimentary rocks form. Millions of years ago, plants and animals die and become buried. Over time, additional layers of peat, lignite, and sediment get added to the original organic matter. This is peat. This is Eventually, all of this sediment and organic matter accumulates and will be transformed by pressure and heat into coal. Some limestone is another example of organic sedimentary rock. Organisms such as oysters, clams, mussels, and coral die, and their shells and bones are broken down by the ocean and settle onto the ocean floor. Over time, these layers of sediment begin to form, and during burial and lithification, the sediment precipitates out of the water and limestone is formed. Phosphoriferous limestone is limestone with a large number of fossils. This is because the once living organisms died and are covered by sediment, which over time create pressure and lithification and transforms the fossils and sediment into rock. I hope that helps with organic sedimentary rocks. And remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to some. Okay. So, what are organically formed rocks? Due to? Formed by fossils, which are of two plant and animal elements. You should write. Why do we use for example, because we are heavily dependent on. As of now, but they require. Why can't we? We have to, which we are doing now. So there are other ways like solar, wind, hydro, hydro. Yeah, but like, uh, how does fossil fuel provide energy? As in, okay. you get petroleum. Mm -hmm. So petroleum is what crude oil. Out of crude oil, you make petrol, diesel, your energy that we use in the house. All that is made out of petroleum. So how does petroleum actually make these car pollution? Because out of that you make, you make petrol out of that. How oil is made? From seeds. Right? So in a similar way, petrol, petrol, diesel, or any of these are made out of crude Petrol. So in that, in that way, there are many other things also that petroleum helps. Nothing of petroleum, in fact, is called liquid gold. Nothing of it goes to but then now we have, uh, uh, we are trying to find the newer ways or even something like nuclear energy. Nuclear energy works by the fission and fusion of atoms. You must have done it, no? Yes. What is fission? Joining. What is fusion? Is joining. Fission. Fission. That. Uh, those atoms when they are divided, yes, and it creates a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. So now we are uh, starting to harness all of these. Mm -hmm. ah, this on the basis of the agents of formation. First, you have riverine rocks. Riverine rocks. These rocks are formed by deposition of alluvial soils, soil by streams of water. Alluvial soil is what? Silt so fertile soils still deposited by the rivers. 
lacustrine found on the bed of a lake after long periods of deposition. Bed of the lake means at the bottom of the lake. Okay, after many years of deposition, glacial deposition of the debris by brought by glaciers. The glaciers also need to weather in no more. But a uh, iceberg move over, so along with that, it will bring a lot of debris. Debris means rock materials, fragments of rocks. So when these accumulate, they turn into glacial rocks. Aeolian rocks, the cementation of sand particles brought by wind. So aeolian means air, wind. Cementation of sand particles brought by wind is aeolian rocks. Marine, marine always is water, ocean. Yes, so these rocks are formed at the ocean floor. There are two types, calcareous, formed by deposition of shells and sea skeletons of sea organisms. And you have carbonaceous. Yes. This you can write down just points. Done. Okay, so what were riverine? In full force. तभी वो अपने साथ वो एलुवियल सॉइल को लाता है, वो पुश करता है, फिर बाद में वो रिवर छोटा हो जाता है, तो एचएस पे क्या रह जाते हैं, वो सॉइल रह जाते हैं। तो रिवराइन, यस, रिवराइन रॉक्स हैं, दो फिश आर लेफ्ट बाय द सिल्ट। लैकस्ट्राइन क्या है? बेड ऑफ बेड ऑफ बेड ऑफ बेड ऑफ बेड ऑफ क्या? Yes, after many, many years of deposition at the bed of the Aeolian award. Or sand particles was pushed by the wind. So Aeolian, remember air. Riverine, remember? River. Lacustrine, remember what? Lake. L, starting with lake only. L. Aeolian? Air. Marine is what? Water. Glacial is? Ice. Ice. Marine are what? Two types. Carcarious and carcarious. Carcarious is shells and skeletons. Yes. And carcarious is? Plants and animals. Glacial? It's giving your own big ones. You only read loudly. Are formed by the glacial deposits deposits in the form of debris or ice. Debris. Debris. The glaciers erode the surface and the sides of the valley and transform the material from glaciers and ice. Debris. Boulders, 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 boulders are big rocks. So what is happening when the glacier? What is a glacier? Big, huge ice, mass of ice, right? Below it, you below the ocean water, you will be able to see more of it. On the top, you will be able to see lesser. But then, huge glaciers can be even as big as this. Building. Okay, yeah, so, so when it gets small, huh? at the sea surface, they are very right. But the so sea what sea. happens when they are uh, when they cross mountains? Where are they? They are floating, right, on water. Mm -hmm. So they will keep moving. So when it comes across any kind of mountain, Titanic, what happened? Icebergs. Iceberg had hit, and the uh, what had happened to the ship? It had broken. The ship ki jagah, tum log samjho. कि कोई माउंटेन है वहाँ पे या एनी टाइप ऑफ सॉलिड रॉक इस देर वो क्या करने वाला है दिस इस वेरी पावरफुल सो इट्स गोइंग टू ब्रेक इट तो वो ब्रोकन पीसेस आर टर्निंग इनटू फ्रैगमेंट्स डेब्रीज़ इस पोकर हाउ 
डेब्री मीन्स क्या है इसमें बराबर बोला वट वर्ड इन यूज मलबा जो भी मतलब डिस्ट्रॉय होके आ रहा है ब्रोकन रॉक्स फ्रेगमेंट्स huge rock. Gravel is greater uh, force while uh, this like cement is a little rough uh, bigger particles and sand is very fine particles. Are you understood? Yes. Understood. What? Here is right. Okay. Here, there are friends in group there. Okay. मेटामोर्फिक मेटामोर्फाइज मीन वॉट चेंज यस चेंज ओरिजिनल सी मेटामोर्फिक और एंड सेडिमेंट्री दे आर बोथ फॉर्म्स फ्रॉम इग्नियस रॉक्स Yes, and even uh, sedimentary turns to matter. We have the rock cycle after this, so in that you will get a good understanding. So when existing rocks are subjected to high pressure and temperature, these are the two conditions required. High time. pressure, huh? Time what? Time. Due to time. time also. High pressure and temperature. high temperature over a period of time correct right? it won't happen suddenly takes time so when existing rocks are subject to high temperature and pressure metamorphic rocks are formed over a period of time metamorphism is a process by which these metamorphic rocks are Change. If they can be metamorphic rocks which have changed, or they can be sedimentary or igneous. Okay, you are seeing these examples. There are three examples. One is an igneous rock. One is a sedimentary, two sedimentary. Okay. So what is happening here? Granite, which is an igneous rock. Igneous can be formed by cooling or friction disposition of चेंजेस टू मेटामोफिक Which is foliated. Foliated means in layers. Okay, we change this to gneiss, sandstone, which is sedimentary. Okay, that changes to quartzite, which is metamorphic, non-foliated. Shale, which is sedimentary. See, you can see the layers over there in shale. That changes to with heat and pressure changes to slate. It is which is metamorphic and it is foliated, foliated layers, yes. layers. Hmm? Write the examples. First definition you can write, and here you can add over a period of time also. High temperature and pressure over a period of time, metamorphic rocks are formed. Likha hai? Metamorphic. Ma, ठीक है. Examples you write of metamorphic.
कहते को समझ रहे हैं तो भूल क्यों क्या है इंग्लिश क्या है रिवाइज नहीं करता है घर जाके यू शुड रिवाइज नहीं तो लिंक पूरा टूट जाएगा तेरा क्या बोलूं मैं हारी बड़ी सुंदर लगा Only a movie put that. You saw that? Right? Saw so, something like that? Ah, actor. See him again. See him again. Okay, bro. Okay. Us pe dekha hai lift chance. Ah, space. Isko na. Masle wo. Sab samjha. I think the last time we go on the train, we see the first. They are hard and full part in the original form. And then we give the example. For example, Marvel or Limestone. It's either the Limestone. Marvel from from limestone is other than limestone. Like, uh, what are we comparing? Uh, limestone, limestone, limestone to marble. Yeah. And limestone is changing to marble. Limestone is marble. Marble is harder. Uh, so marble from better. limestone, comma, is harder than limestone. The comma there will not be. Because वो जो originally रहेगा वो उससे और ज़्यादा because of heat and pressure yes because of more heat and pressure coming out of it then no man man so this is of three kinds first you have thermal metamorphism thermal and Second is dynamic, and third is regenerative. Thermal, dynamic, and regenerative. Thermal metamorphism occurs because of heat generated by magma due to the friction caused by two moving rocks. Forming of slate from clay. Why is it occurring? Because of the heat. Thermal, remember, heat. Thermal means heat. Thermal means what? Tell me, all of you. Thermal means you call it what? Warm thing. It's called warm thing. So thermal metamorphism occurs because of heat generated by magma. Or due to the friction caused by two moving rocks. In how the heat is generated, you have one rock, you have another rock. When there is friction, when these are moving in opposite direction, when they are each other, friction. That's when again heat is generated. Dynamic metamorphism. So like that, slate from clay is formed. Okay. Ma, you can. Pen. <laughs> That's a marker kept over there. <laughs> I showed this to the other students. They thought it was a rocket. <laughs> I know how they will say the rocket. It was a marker. They want to make the person who is doing. I don't know what you are saying. Huh? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Next, dynamic metamorphism occurs when changes in rock take place because of large scale movements of the earth's crust. This is because of what? Large scale, large movements, of the scale movements of earth's crust. So this heat was due to. Magma and due to friction generated by moving rocks. By moving. Can you please shift the camera? I can't see. Okay. 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 I think I will. Uh, what to do now? Next, I write here. Then you can see now. Yeah, ma'am. I can see. Ha. Huh. No, now next when I write, I will write. Ah, no, 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 no. She is holding it for you. Done. First. See now what? Huh? 
personally it's people. So now I will write. Do you want your table screen? Yeah. Okay, so dynamic metamorphism takes place because when there are changes taking place because of large scale movements of the earth's crust, the rocks may get pushed to greater depths under the surface, resulting in the formation of new rocks. How do the rocks get pushed to the surface? Due to the movement of the earth's crust. Due to the movement of the earth's crust. There are glitches, there is plates. So when two plates are colliding, what will happen? The skin, the other, sorry, skin. <laughs> the crust. Yeah, the ah. crust gets in depth. Yes. So what is going to happen? It goes like one part will go like this. Okay, and then your delta formation forms, and then this part which goes in, this again changes, metamorphizes. And what is constant? It metamorphizes. Well, that's the name of a rock only. <laughs> that metamorphizes, changes its form. So, example, shale changing to conference. Then third is regional metamorphism. When metamorphism is caused by large-scale changes such as mountain building. Huh? So this is you know, similar. Yes. But this is crust and this is mountain building. They're connected. So here this is large scale changes such as Sandstone changing to what side? Hmm? <laughs> Examples you all can write. How it is formed That's and true. examples. Yes. <laughs> Large scale. This is because of heat. For example, slate clay changes to slate. This large scale movement of the earth's crust, shale changing to hornfels, and regional metamorphism changes such as mountain building, sandstone changing to quartz. Now, this is the rock cycle. Two. What? So, this is. It's done. This is the rock cycle. You can see it. We'll finish it by then. This is the last screen. Hmm? So what is happening? Igneous rock, weathering, turning into sediments. Sediments are again compaction and cementation. Sedimentary rock. That is also getting weathered and eroded. Huh? Everything. Then again, interlinked. Yes, all are connected. All are Heat and pressure changes to metamorphic rocks. Metamorphic rocks is again melting, turning to magma. Igneous rocks also melt, turn to magma again, which are below the surface. Again, igneous rocks under heat and pressure also changes to metamorphic rocks. Metamorphic rocks also break and weathering erosion take place. They turn into sedimentary rocks. So that cycle continues. Magma cooling turns to igneous. Igneous melting turns to metamorphic and other types of rocks. Hmm? And you have this similar one. So this is the magma, metamorphic rock, melting, magma, surface, igneous rock. Sedimentary rock, sediments going through compaction, cementation, sedimentary rock. Then again, here it's breaking down, weathering, erosion, getting transmitted. Hmm? Revise once when you will go home. Huh? Manasvi? Hello? Yeah, did you all understand? Huh? Ah? is muted. Part oh. samjha kya? Ek baar revise karna. Yes. Okay. So go through it's and nice still. Huh? Look at me. And still, if you have any doubts, next class may clear kar Okay. Hmm? Bye. Bye, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.
All the best. Welcome. Thank you.